Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Denmark for military support to Ukraine in a speech he delivered to Parliament in Copenhagen on August 21st. Zelensky and First Lady Alina Zelenska were greeted with a standing ovation by Danish lawmakers. Russia has condemned a decision by Denmark and the Netherlands announced on Sunday to donate F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine, saying the move would escalate the conflict. The first six are due to be delivered around New Year. Denmark will deliver 19 jets in total. Zelensky called the decision a breakthrough agreement and said the planes would help strengthen Ukraine's air defenses and help its counteroffensive against Russia's 2022 invasion. Now, Russian evil strikes with pain and death at Ukrainian cities and villages. But they openly say that Ukraine is not enough. Later, after our country, they want to carry the suffering further to Europe and to the world. And I'm sure you hear it. You hear it from Moscow. All of Russia's neighbors are under threat if Ukraine does not prevail. International law will not be resuscitated. Democracies of the world, each of them can become a target either for missiles or for mercenaries or for destabilization and I'm sure you can feel it. But Ukraine will prevail. When Putin ordered this invasion, he only believed in the lens of his armed vehicles column. In power of explosions of Russian missiles, he believed that cruelty is capable of rewriting the history of an entire continent, erasing this history, pushing it back a century, yes, to crush everything that makes our continent and our countries peaceful. He believed only in force. In force without humanity, he trusted violence and that is why he is weaker. We believe in something completely different and that is why we become stronger, all of us, together with you. Thank you. Thank you for your help, all the help provided to Ukraine. Thank you for Hapoons. Russians afraid. Uh, thank you. Caesars. Leopards, breadless, drones, yes, they pray drones, and artillery. And thank you, thank you for the mining machines. All this service freedom, service in this very moment, service to protect people's lives.